behalf of uh, the University of Lagos community, I'd like to welcome the MTN Foundation along with the MTN itself uh, to the University of Lagos uh, for this uh, event which has been long coming. Happy to receive the chairman, the CEO of MTN, as well as the ES of Foundation, and other dignitaries that are coming to the University of Lagos today. And here I have our members of the management of the University of Lagos. And my immediate friend is the Bachelor of Chemistry and Research, Professor Tony Ogundike. Next to him is the Delphine Lama Men Services Professor of Bengal Buddha. There's an empty seat. It's going to be filled very soon by Delphine Lama Development Services Professor Shadi Mushola. We are the Professor of the University, Professor Latif Odekunle. We are the University Liberian, Professor Mrs. Padion. We have the acting director of works and staff planning, Tani Yayeye. And we have the director of academic planning, also Wanda Kuminka. On my immediate left here is the registrar of the Skyway Fire, the Football College of Medicine, also for Labilation, and the director of uh, quality assurance at the university, also Ego Chuku. So we welcome you. And uh, thank you for putting this event on finally. Um, thank you, DC. Um, uh, can we introduce um, the people that we have with us today? Uh, of course, we have our dear chairman, um, Prince Julius Sadelusi Adeli OFR MNI. Um, Chairman of MTN Foundation today. We also have um, Mohammed Siddiqui, who is our Chief Operating Officer for MTN Nigeria. Um, and on my left, we have the um, Permanent Secretary um, for Lagos State Ministry of Education, um, Mr. Adeshina Odeyani, yeah. as well as Mr. Wale Olo. Local Dano, Director of Microsoft. Yeah. Um, and then we have very uh, two important um, yes. We have Mrs. Olatunde Oshunleya, who is from the she's the <coughs> deputy manager for the Nigeria Communication Community Commission. As well as um, we have um, what's our partner from Dragon? I'm here. Okay. Arek okay. <coughs> Dawa, also from the, um, a partner of the foundation. So thank you very much, sir, for, and thank you very much to the entire management team for giving us this opportunity to meet with you. This feels like a working uh, meeting at <laughs> an event. We're very um, pleased to be here, like you said, finally. Um, it's very exciting for us to be back at Unilag. Um, the University of Lagos is a, an institution that's close to our hearts. The um, University of Lagos is the first beneficiary of the um, MTN Foundation Universities Connect project back in 2005-2006. So it's quite exciting for us to be back here 11 years later um, to do a, a, a formal handover uh, to the University of, um, of Lagos. Um, the Universities Connect project was established um, to provide digital library infrastructure back then. And I remember back then we just had the VSAT technology. Obviously a lot of things has happened in, this, in the ICT space and everyone has access to data on their, on their devices and mobile data. But back then um, this was the first recipient and subsequently we went off to ABU, Uniben and UNN. And we're very proud of this project. And um, as we mentioned, um, we, University of Lagos being the first recipient, we further um, refurbished the, the facility 
and, um, and we're very happy that uh, Microsoft um, kindly provided and donated <coughs> software for free for the entire um, center. So we'd like to please join me in the same. Thank you to Microsoft for that. Um, the Microsoft are dear partners, the ecosystem partners of MTN. So they're able to join us in this venture. So it's a, it's a new, new look project. It, um, it's a project, initially it was a project that had um, the databases for research. Now what we have is the software uh, for Microsoft. I would allow students to go in there and do whatever they need to do in terms of um, um, studying and, and using their Microsoft um, Office. Um, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you um, uh, for this opportunity. Um, special appreciation to the Vice Chancellor the Deputy Chancellors, the Deans of um, the Facility, um, sorry, the Dean of Faculties rather, rather, and the Head of Student Affairs, and especially the Librarian for your cooperation and for working tirelessly with us and the team um, to get this um, going. Um, thank you once again for listening, and I wish everyone a uh, uh, journey message when they head out. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. And, uh, thank you very much to, again for like, giving us this opportunity and I'm really happy that after our last meeting we are finally being able to refurbish and like hopefully we'll be inaugurating and for the benefit of the student and for the benefit of the university. So as I mentioned last time that uh, is a pride and honor for us for MDN Nigeria to associate with educational institutions. We have been doing a lot of activities uh, as uh, the Executive Secretary mentioned and the Chairman will also mention. Uh, I just like, I will restrict myself to only few things and assurance again, which I made earlier that uh, from, I assure you on behalf of MTN Nigeria, and uh, whole team with me that uh, if at any time we can be of any help for the University of Lagos, it will be a pride and honor for us. Thank you very much. We are providing, like, beside these refurbishing the things uh, from MP and Nigeria side, we are like, we are providing LTE modems so that the connectivity issue should not be there. I'm not sure about the quality of the service is still in the campus. But we need, the, in that area, we need your support because we need location for the site. So if you can help us with that, I'm sure. Like I was in Abuja, uh, University of Abuja, and then they, from, uh, like, they provided us the space and resolved the network issue. I told them in three months I will come back, but three weeks we were able to resolve the issue. So I assure you if we have the location, I will make sure that the necessary resources and people are dedicated so that the campus quality of network issues is resolved. So I'm here again and uh, we are will be happy and willing to support the MSC in any way we can. Thank you very much. Um, so I'd like to call on um, our chairman. I'm sure he has some things to mark. Can I say your excellency? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the chairman is uh, our man. Uh, I um, feel quite pleased to be here for several reasons. Uh, somebody just observed that uh, I was a full time student here studying law. And therefore, as an alumnus, anything that has to do with uh, this university. Uh, touches my heart, which is why I have personally made time to be here. We have directors who are very specialized in education and other matters. Pushing. But I felt uh, I'll see the face of the past <laughs> <laughs> and all of you. First of all, looking around, one sees how busy you are, and that's very impressive. Uh, Ziaz, you can see everybody is in some kind of uh, 
you know, some digital approach to meeting. <laughs> yeah. uh, very impressive. And I want to congratulate you this year for this. Uh, several years ago, I've also been on another delegation where these things were not available. Everybody was uh, displaying his own, 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 own handwriting. Uh, so I feel very raised today because of the story of the library itself. Which was uh, set up here in 2006. Naturally, MTN is in Lagos. MTN operates a uh, major Lagos area. MTN has its own uh, dividends and so on from efforts made in Lagos area. But with the case of MTN, they had a completely uh, very corporate organogramic approach. That's why we have the foundation. It has its own directors. It has nothing to do with the business except receiving funds a certain percentage of the profit. And uh, in the last 12 years, the, I'm saying this because all you profs are too busy with your chemistry, and chemical engineering, and things like that. So you know comprehensively. The way the MTN Foundation since, since it started has gone into fields of education, has gone into fields of health, uh, as well as uh, poverty, alleviation, and other so-called special projects. But education is important to us. Uh, and you know, in the last 12 years, MTN Foundation has expended about 12, about 60, 18 billion, 18 billion naira in these various fields throughout the country. In about nearly 565 locations spread throughout the 36 states and the FCT. But what really makes me glad is that in the field of education, it's the University of Lagos who first established itself in. And we were very happy when this thing happened in 2006. So we put the library here, a lot of ceremonies and pomp. It didn't seem to have been flowing as smoothly as in this age. But now with the uh, Vice Chancellor here, I'm quite happy that during the time there has been a renegotiation, a rearrangement agreed by both your side and the side of the uh, foundation. And I'm happy that, that by some kind of serendipity, I'm seated again, uh, opposite the uh, <laughs> librarian. <laughs> because this is a library effort. Uh, I want to let you know, Madame, that um, this time around, uh, I want to come back stronger and enjoy more cooperation. We can promise you our cooperation, training some of the people and giving some other necessary aid. And making sure that this time around, I will hand this to you. It will work. On our side, we're very sure. Uh, I know that uh, you don't have too much longer, uh, as a big man concerned. But um, now that you are there, when the foundation, of this foundation's effort is being made, then you lay a very good foundation for this cooperation. Because if we do this well, ladies and gentlemen, there could only be many other things coming this way. The problem we've had is sustainability. Uh, and with Lagos, we should be able to achieve that. Because MTN, because of its nature, has a lot of partnering capacity. That's why Microsoft is here. By the way, I thank you. Uh, you you are the MD of the director. We get them young. Uh, so we can partner with whoever is necessary to make this. I want to thank you, VC. Uh, I don't see how you can make time for this kind of thing. But uh, the grace of God is sufficient unto you. And I say, Salam alaikum. My Almighty Allah continue to enlighten your ways. And I thank all you professors and uh, all the big administrators for making time to be with us uh, on this day. May this university sprout and become stronger on that day individual and joint leadership of all of you. It's a pleasure to be with you. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, to Chairman and the Foundation, uh, Julius, uh, Julius, uh, Louis, who are finally made that. And the great alumnus of the University of Lagos, Greta Kokai, great. The CEO of MTN, Mohamed Siddiq, we have
happy to have you back again. And Noni uh, Buma, the Secretary of MTNF, a good friend. Let our college also be Panzer of Education in the States, and Director of, of uh, Microsoft uh, here, as well as other people from MTN and different agencies. Once again, on behalf of the University of Lagos, I want to thank you and welcome you to the university. And thank you for this moment, which is uh, uh, the sounding moment for a return of MTN and to the campus of the University of Lagos. I say so because I've been involved in the last uh, almost 80 years, seven, eight years on this, and that we're finally able to resolve it in my time is something that is glad me. service, the library was very useful to the students initially yeah. at the time it came in. And it was uh, well situated at that point in time because as Noni mentioned, that time I don't think we had up to as other 50 terminals in this university uh, for uh, e-services in any form. So the MTN library was a very veritable resource and facility for all the students at that point in time. But as she also mentioned, technology improved. And right now on campus today, we have no less than 2,000 terminals that anybody could use for either individual studies or examinations or anything. We have the ET Center that has five, 500 terminals on its own as a unit. We have DLI with other probably 500 or more. And then each faculty also has its own. So things have moved from that uh, position that we were at that point in time. And assessing facilities today you don't have to go to the library. You don't have to sit before a terminal. The students are smarter than we are. They are telephone. Once they have the connectivity, we just can latch on to whatever is the library and they get all the library on their phone. That's really where we are today. So the idea of the desktop with resources and everything is not exactly the same today as it was that time when it first came. I think that's the message really that I come in and I'm happy that we have uh, moved on with that. Uh, the beauty of the development that we have now and what we have done now is that it may not necessarily be used only for library resources. And that is where this is coming, and that's why we're happy that it's coming on now. The university is now on an entrepreneurship drive for the students, and we have set up a unit on entrepreneurship and skill development. That unit is setting up hubs on campus. Currently, we have about one or two now going on. And it would be nice to add the MTN Center with another hope for that kind of purpose, uh, for that drive. Because what we need today is to open the students up to opportunities beyond just what they're learning here. Lagos State is doing exactly the same thing. And we're happy that the governor, when we visited him last at the University of Lagos, to the two other institutions that they were that were they were tutoring on entrepreneurship, we are we are the we have the largest number now this year, and because the the way we are organized and the way our students we take we, our students we take this, and they already been on it. Right? Yeah, 
we have a location here, and every Saturday, our students go there, and they are exposed to this. And I'm sure by the end of this set session and set, many of our students, I'm sure, will be uh, into the internship. Uh, Lagos is creating. That's the kind of direction we're going. So there are also the, the RIP arrangement, which is uh, with uh, MIT. I learned that they're in touch with MTN or MTN Foundation. And they are interested in, well, we are the one latching on for Lagos State in the City Connect situation that they are working on. The smart city uh, business operation is ourselves with the city, with the business sector, working on to be able to make Lagos. Uh, I think Lagos was selected as one of the uh, one of the three in the world for this year, and uh, so we are on that. And so, with that center coming now, MIT RIP will definitely benefit on that and be able to use that for that purpose for training purpose for that. So we. We we'll use it as a library resource facility, as well as a hub uh, for entrepreneurship training. I think that's really where uh, where we'll be going, and that's why I'm happy that it's coming at this point in time, and uh, it's quite uh, timely. Uh, the sensor from MTN is well appreciated. I know you're doing so many things. I know the foundation do so many things in various sectors, health, education, and everywhere. But we look forward to more, more. CSR benefits for the tertiary education system. I'm saying this with all sense of responsibility. Uh, MTN is one of the biggest corporations in the nation today. And we would love to see something quite unique and substantial that will carry the name of MTN on this campus as is the uh, business hub of the nation is we we have had that problem with most of the big corporations. It took Shell a long time to realize that they didn't have anything at University of Lagos, and University of Lagos produced one of their uh, chief executive for the nation for Shell. That's Mutil. But by the time they realized it, and they were now ready to put something here, <coughs> the price of oil crashed. At that time, point in time, all the share companies in Nigeria decided that they were going to put a facility that they will see from the headquarters in the marina, to a 15-story facility that will be sustainable, iconic, and all that. But fortunately, Mutim left the system without that being found up. Today, we are back to something, not quite close to that, but something from Snepco. Snepco is the only one that can do something now. And they are looking at a center of excellence for geosciences at the university. And they are going to commence the building anytime from now. So we want MTN to take that advantage. Telecommunication. Uh, Investor of Lagos happened to be one of the first investors that excelled in telecommunication uh, training in the country. And quite a large number of your pool of engineers must have come from here. So we would like to see something in telecommunication that will be sustainable and that will really bring out the name of MTN we doing like as a two giant combination that will project both of us into the next uh, uh, realm. So we appreciate this. We will take this as a first step and look forward to uh, <laughs> the bigger one that will come in <laughs> later on from MTN. Yeah. So, but I want to say that we are sincerely appreciative of this and the efforts that have gone into really cleaning this up and getting to this point. Uh, the CSR is appreciated and what we have now will be more sustainable than what would have been there before. And that's really what I'm happy about. So the ability of the CSR project is what is key. Because we can take it today 
and by next month, nothing happens there. And then, you, or after a year, it will not really move on. So I think that's really what, what is key is to be able to see how we can make sure that it will be sustainable. And you'll be happy to see that what we are putting here is being used for the purpose that it's meant for. And then we have value uh, to the system as well. So on behalf of my colleagues, we want to appreciate MTN and MTN Foundation uh, for uh, getting to this point with us. Why we look forward to, as I said, a bigger connection between ourselves. You see, it's connect. So a connection between ourselves and MTN on a, on a bigger scale. On the point raised by the CEO on the services, MTN service and Invest of Lagos, unfortunately, we are not like Abuja. Unfortunately, I say unfortunately because we are in an enclave. We already, we are, we are city university and already corner, box into this corner of the, so we don't really have much land and we, to be able to really allow uh, for too many mass. So we will appreciate you go on collocation, collocation with other uh, mass owners so that your services can uh, be well, can, this is what we are telling other uh, other service uh, providers as well, that collocation will be what we can, we have to really embark upon here. But it, it should really be more effective here than any other place because we can't afford to have too many masks uh, based on uh, the findings of uh, the experts. And we as academics must know and must be able to now protect uh, ourselves as well. So we would like MTN service. MTN is the first, nobody can brag about that. The first uh, telecommunication company in the nation is the most uh, prominent, is the most serviced. But then, uh, at the University of Lagos, the services fluctuate. Not only you do, but other ones before you, but then with the number of people that have MTN services, the fluctuation it should be uh, improved upon. I think we need to get a better service from MTN. So we will support your collocation efforts anytime you're ready for that, uh, to able to really improve your service on the campus. So I want to, again, want to thank you, thank the chairman, thank the CEO, the SF secretary, and uh, Lagos State Government and Microsoft uh, for your connection with this and the support you have given to the investor of Lagos and uh, NCC. NCC. And NCC. NCC. NCC is here as well. Oh, okay. Ah. <laughs> NCC, yes. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm, see, I was talking about your collocation thing. You see, I'm, I'm, I'm your megaphone here. So. <laughs> So we appreciate uh, all your support and uh, we look forward to better collaboration and cooperation in the future. Thank you very much. to do the need for. Thank you very much, sir. That's the joint team with the chairman. I'm just a supporter of both of you. And a nice person. Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. We'll hold the table for you. Okay. We commission this MTN Connect Center for the use of the students of the University of Lagos and other members of the community for advancement in education and research as well as the development of the economy of Nigeria and the world in general. We pray that this facility will enhance the University of Lagos to grow into the high, expected heights and for MTN to be seen as a provider of a facility that has enhanced the improvement of the equation in Nigeria. This, we thank God for this and pray and dedicate this to humanity. Thank you.
so we just do a walk here. Okay, so we have some of our scholarship students here. So they've got so many of the students in the demo. Um, there's also some internet facilities provided. and I think uh, uh, the electrical engineering is for use uh, for practice uh, for the students in terms of the components for the lab, 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 for That can be sustained before a new project starts. And for now, we have to know. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. I think we were, well, we had a, we look forward we had a student. Okay. <laughs> anyway, we call on you again. Yeah, for my brother, brother, brother. Brother. Yeah. 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 Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so we just want to take some pictures. Thank you. Thank you. Now here is an upgrade that is uh, in tune with the modern times. Today, what people need are resources that you can add on from anywhere you are because of the connectivity and be able to now make the difference. So, with what we have now, we have all the resources that we can use this place for both uh, library. Uh, resource accessibility access as well as use them as hubs for training entrepreneurs. In fact, that's what we use more for than anything else. 
So we're going to be having a lot of training, a lot of training for our students here. And uh, there will be a lot of hub facilities, activities, whereby people will have hands-on to try opportunities that they have. And who knows what? That could be development of uh, apps, development of uh, things that will come in and become business-like in the future. I'm sure MTN would like that and we want to really lag onto that. We already have some templates for the use of that place uh, with some other organizations that are joining hands with us. And so we see this as a major development in investing today. And it's going to be one that will uh, uh, support our drive to improve the students' visibility and their entrepreneurial activities after their graduation. Thank you. Well, I said that MTN as a big company, as one of the, is the biggest telecommunication company in Nigeria today, uh, should have an iconic partnership, collaboration with the institution, whereby uh, anybody will know that telecommunication, we have a telecommunication program here. They should come in and connect with that. As I was saying, telling them that we would like to see a bigger uh, input into the university on telecommunication by MTN, so that at least we'll be able to see MTN ULAG collaboration, the Center of Excellence on something. It could be on uh, e-learning, it could be on uh, uh, telecommunication gadgets, it could be on development or something. So, But something that will really make a mark and will be bigger uh, than that. But this is this is a good starting point and we, we, we're happy for this. Um, Prof, in um, summary, sir, um, similar project was done in three other high institutions, University of Port, University of Benin, and uh, one other institution. So, um, what good um, exactly? What goodwill message do you have for MTN Foundation today for bringing a project like this? It's magnitude. Well, you see, every major company utilizes uh, their CSR obligations uh, to the, the public in various ways. MTN has a, a, a decided to utilize some of the resources for education, tertiary education. And it, it is just not starting now. It started so many years ago. We were the first, as the Secretary mentioned, to have the MTN library, Cornell Library, in the nation. It was from after here they went to ABU and to all other places. But at that time, there was no connectivity. Uh, the issue of uh, uh, access to resources, the e-processes, the use of your uh, iPhone and all that were not play the way they were. So the sitting down before a terminal is what is needed to be able to access resources with the library that's close as it is. So, but we have lived that now. I can sit in my room and be able to access whatever is in here once I can connect uh, my phone to them. I think that's what I'm saying. So what they have now is a higher grade facility that will enable us to be able to do far more than just having a terminal that you see before and then be able to access uh, resources alone. I think that's, they have, they have connectivity here. You can really browse on any, get any information, get whatever you need, and as well be able to use it and put a software there that you can use to train uh, students for other things. I think that's the difference now, and it's a, it's a major difference. Well, all other investors that have their facilities, I'm sure with our own example now, there will be other upgrades so as we have. Because what we have here now is sustainable. I think that was key. Uh, it, it was sustainable in that we can drive it to be able to get things out that will make it uh, not just a one-time affair, but a continuing thing for, uh, for life. And that's really what we are doing. Okay, thank you very much. Um, sir, um, Prof, um, last one, please. In summary, what do you have for MTN Foundation? What do you want to say? Well, MTN Foundation have been doing well. Uh, they've been uh, impacting the life of people in this nation in various sectors, health, primary education, secondary education, tertiary education, and other devices. Well, yes, every corporate uh, body uh, must invest in CSR to be able to touch the life of their clients and the people they serve. Uh, MTN is not lacking behind in that. Uh, we wish them very well and pray that they continue to use their resources well uh, for the wealth of this nation. Thank you. Thank you very much. Give of our subscribers whole light right whole lot brighter and there is in this age of digital life you cannot have a brighter life without uh, having the computers and um, we are here today and i feel happy and proud that the mtm foundation today uh, this universities connect program under the universities connect program of mtm foundation we are 
opening this computer center for the University of uh, Lagos students and uh, we wish them all the best and as I told to the Vice Chancellor that uh, uh, MTN is proud to serve the cause of education. We are not only a commercial organization, we intend to make, as I said earlier, the lives of our subscribers a whole, whole lot brighter. And uh, for brightening the lives of our subscribers, we are ready and willing to support any of the noble cause. And education is one key cause which can develop the nation. So we are proud to be a partner with the University of Lagos today and opening this uh, University's Connect program. And we will continue under the banner of MTN Foundation, we will continue similar efforts in, uh, uh, efforts in the areas of education, health and various other, other areas. Thank you very much.